Welcome back to the channel. This is Andrew running with Dr. Andrew and today is another midweek training talk. All right guys, let's go. This week I'd like to share with you uh, just some strengthening ideas for a muscle called the piriformis. Uh, it's a very small muscle but also it helps involve not just the piriformis but other rotating muscles in your hip. And that's what the piriformis does, it helps kind of rotate the hip a little bit there. And there's a lot of rotation whenever you're running. Uh, when you take your first step and you kick out the hip rotates in and also when you into swing phase the, the hip is in uh, rotation going out and so it's important for that to have the mobility um, and also to have strength through the full range of motion of that um, strengthening exercise or strengthening or that motion with your hip just because if you don't have that then what happens over time that hip will start to develop some pain and you have something called piriformis syndrome or you know gluteus medius pain or something like that that will cause cause some, some issues and definitely don't want to cause those issues because we want to be able to get out there and do your workouts that you want to do and so definitely don't want to stress that muscle out it's one of those muscles that I've had injuries on before and something that we do foam roll uh, on that quite a bit on the piriformis muscle. Uh, but I think definitely what we can really and what you can really do and utilize is strengthen that muscle through the full range of motion and maybe that you won't have to do a lot of foam rolling because that muscle will be all nice and tuned uh, to doing the activity that you're doing just because it's strong and so that's the main, main thing with strengthening not necessary for us to get fast but for us to prevent injuries that's the main thing with strengthening exercises be able to go out there and run all these miles and marathons and things like that and be able to do it with um, minimum injuries to no injuries at all definitely I think we all prefer no injuries so that way you can get back to your next uh, r running routine or you know your training block whatever you want to call it and that's very important. I think these small exercises will definitely help you and get you out there to continue to be healthy. And so this is a kind of cool thing. This is a you know a sport that you can we can do for a long time and many years. And so a lot of us, you know, some of us, you want to be able to run into your 60s and 70s years years old. And so that definitely, I think that's important there. And so this exercise, we're going to just cover just one exercise. What you're going to do, you can find like a a bench or some sort of um, ball or a stool or something like that that you can find. You can place your leg on it and what you're going to do you're going to push down with your trunk and then push away with your leg coming back upright and again kind of push forward and push back now it's going to be a little bit more challenging on like a ball compared to a stool just because you've got the dynamic uh, motion of that ball but I think definitely you can it is doable for for both there and so you can do you know maybe sets of three sets of 10 or start off 10 repetitions and switch to other leg. And you'll kind of notice there's one leg that'll be a little bit more, um, a little bit less st stronger or less flexible. And so that's the main thing is for us to get that range of motion back into the hip there and strengthening at the same time, get that full strength and a full range of motion with that. Uh, and so, that kind of concludes that exercise. Let me know how you're doing in the comments with your training there. I'd like to share, um, definitely cheer everyone on. Hope everyone's doing well out there. I've done 
uh, eight miles so far this week. I did a three mile um, marathon pace run, uh, about 20 minutes run uh, yesterday, and then today I did a five mile easy run. And I'm still doing the Hal Higgins uh, marathon training, and this week I'll be doing, hopefully doing a uh, 17 mile long run. It's gonna be a little chilly, and it's probably gonna be cold throughout the United States anyway, so I'm in the negatives here in Arkansas. In Northern Arkansas, it's pretty cold early on anyway, too, so we don't get that many cold, very cold days like that, uh, too much there. So, all right guys, everyone stay nice and warm out there, keep safe, keep running, and we'll see you next time.